when we submit a spark application is it possible to divide the data in local mode in one machine that is possible with spark application spark can do that how that will be done let me show you that one okay suppose you might have observed our uh, configuration of machines our laptops or desktops four core processor dual core processor quad core processor and octo core processors two dual core in the sense two cores that is two processor cores two processors are two processor cores and when we say that quad core four four processor cores okay and when we talk about octa core it is eight processor cores okay eight processor cores so when we launch a spark application in local mode that we can we can the spark application can divide the data depending upon the number of cores depending upon the number of cores okay suppose if we have four cores let me tell you here in my machine i have four cores i have four cores in my machine if i say that hyphen hyphen master and how do we what do we write in local for right i like local local of two what does this mean here let me show you this one spark hyphen shell hyphen hyphen master local the spark application we are launching a spark application in local mode what is this uh, two stands here what is this two this two is about the number of processor cores this spark application is trying to utilize now got it now when we create rdd that rdd must be divided into certain parts we call them as what partitions rdd gets divided into certain parts which are called as partitions now how many partitions that rdd gets divided into now in this scenario so if you are reading from a file what do we write here if it is a text file we use if you are reading from a file data from a file we use ac dot text file here okay how many partitions might have been created for this rd1 now so to do the number of partitions use this function rd1 dot get num partitions okay can you see here now how many partitions does this rd got divided into two got it now okay so even though in local mode in local mode spark can divide the data you know depending upon the number of cores we try to supply here so here we give the number of cores to 2 okay that is the reason now it is trying to divide the data into two parts that is two partitions got it now so at cluster level at cluster level if we have multiple nodes the data gets distributed at nodes level whether in local mode or in cluster mode what it may be the process you know uh, spark will try to uh, perform the parallel processing parallel processing is possible parallel processing is possible in both local mode and cluster mode spark divide data into data in the sense rdd here it is rdd it divides that rdd or data into partitions for parallel processing we shall try to see now how many partitions will be created by default in local mode and cluster mode okay first i am going with local mode okay default number of partitions that is by default into how many partitions that spark application divides an rdd into now what is this two stands for here this two stands for the number of processor cores remember the number of processor cores so by default by default what the number of partitions will be equal to number of cores allotted to the application do you agree with this statement okay in local yeah. mode the default number of partitions created will be equal to number of cores allotted to that application okay if you want we can configure it next in cluster mode generally let us say if you are trying to read the data from hdfs so by default how many number of partitions will be created in case of hdfs when we load some file into hdfs the file gets divided into what in hdfs blocks okay the data gets divided in the form of blocks okay so now by default by default the number of partitions in hdfs the default number of partitions will be equal to number of block it may be sometimes equal to number of blocks or number of input splits don't worry about the input splits and this blocks here just remember that local file system cannot divide the data but spark can divide the data based on the number of processors that is first thing and when we go with hdfs 
when we go with HDFS, the default number of partitions will be equal to default number of blocks, the number of blocks. Let me show you this as a proof now. Let me get one more terminal here. Okay, you can see here. The, now we have a file called as call log data under this path. But how many uh, blocks are created for this file now? How do we see it? Okay, we can see it from here or from browser we can see it clearly. Go to Hadoop, name node. HDFS browse the file system. Just scroll down and here you will see this legacy UI. Click on this, browse the file system. Under this user and cloud era, under this, this is the file call log data. Can you see here now how many blocks are created for this? You know what will be the default block size of HDFS? It is 128 MB. Okay, 128 MB is the default block size, and what is the size of this file here? 82.49 MB. I have one more file, so uh, just let me take one more file. Why? Because this is very less. Now we shall try to load these two files. The first one call log data as well as we shall try to load web log data also. Let us see how many partitions will get created for this. Okay. Later we shall try to analyze them. Okay. Now uh, let us go to Spark application and uh, now val rd2 equal to sc dot text to file. So we are reading from now HDFS, HDFS colon double slash localhost colon 8020. Okay. So we are reading from HDFS. So we have to consult name node for reading the data from HDFS. So the port number at which name node runs is 8020. And what is the path user cloud error and uh, call log data rd2 equal to sc.txt file. And one more file that is web log data. This is a directory actually, it is not a file, web log data. And let us try to see rd3. Okay, now first let us go with rd3. I will come to rd2 later. Let us go with rd3. So we are reading one file and one directory. It need not be a directory, it can be file also. So we can read from HDFS or local file system. Spark can read a file or a directory. Direct when we read from directory, all the data from all the files will be loaded as RDD. Okay, we shall try to see that now. Now, how many partitions might have been created for RD2 and RD3? Let us try to analyze them. First, we shall go with RD3. RD3 dot get num partition. Can anyone make a guess here? Almost 182 files are there. I remember the figure. 182 files are there in this directory. So this is directory. We have loaded from local file system HDFS. Can you make a guess that how many blocks might have been created for this uh, for this all 182 files? Here we have 182. I'm sure. I'm about sure about the uh, number of files. Can you tell me how many? Let us see. So number of partitions are D3. How many are created partitions here? 182 partitions. Why? Because there the number of blocks created will be equal to 182 in HDFS. Because of that reason, just I gave this statement right just now. I give this statement that is when Spark reads the data from HDFS, the default number of partitions will be equal to number of input splits or number of blocks. Now let us try to analyze about RD2. We got some error here. What is the problem? Input path does not exist. Is it true? So I think one more L is missing here. Call log data. Call log. Let's try to apply now. How many are created here? How many are created partitions? Get num partitions too. This RD2, this file we call log data also we are reading from HDFS, right? We are reading from HDFS only. By why we got two here? How many blocks have been created for this call log data? Just open that. You can see here the total number of how many total number of blocks are created for this file? How many? You can see here, right? Only one block. But why we got two partitions here in HDFS when the number of blocks are one? This is true. This is true. This case only when number of blocks are are greater than one. And if in the same HDFS only, if number of blocks are equal to one, number of blocks are equal to 1 
then how many partitions by default gets created by default by default two why by default two is you know spark has to do parallel processing spark has to do parallel processing minimum you know minimum how many partitions have to be there to call something as parallel processing one if you have only one we can't uh, we cannot call it as parallel processing if you have at least two at least two divided two divisions are two parts we call something as parallel processing okay based on that concept if the block number of blocks are only one if the number of blocks are only one then spark will try to go with minimum parallelism it goes with what this is called as minimum parallelism okay minimum parallelism what is the minimum parallelism that is two minimum parallelism is two but if the number of blocks are more than two more than four five six okay it has reached minimum parallelism above that we have four or five partitions so in that case the number of partitions will be equal to number of blocks okay let me show you that what is the default parallelism here now how do you see the default parallelism here you can see like this sc dot default parallelism give this statement it is going to give or oh, the default number of parallelism you can see here sc dot default parallelism it is 2 okay spark will try to divide some data into minimum two partitions minimum two partitions why because if we have minimum two then only we call it as parallel processing otherwise no that is the reason it goes with some default parallelism as 2 is it clear okay number of partitions created will depend on depends on what the file system depends on file system or storage system simply in that storage system it need not be always a file system it can be rdbms it can be no sql database it can be anything okay depends on the storage system architecture okay or architecture that is how the storage system organizes the data based on that the number of partitions will be decided is it clear okay 